Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. Today we'll be solving one exponential equation from J.E. Mains 2019. Equation is 2 power x, 2 power x minus 2 equal to 2 power x minus 1 modulus plus 5. So absolute value function is there. That is special about this question. So we will see that modulus function also. But how we will start this problem? Let us consider 2 power x minus 1 equal to t. <clears throat> so I will write this as t. Let me write here 2 raised to the power x minus 1 equal to t. Then 2 power x will be t plus 1. And if I want to write 2 power x minus 2, then it will be t minus 1. Why I have calculated? 2 raised to the power x minus 1, it is our assumption. So I am writing let and see both the values of left hand side. I evaluated, I calculated in terms of t. So now equation will convert it into original equation. I will write equation will be 2 power x is t plus 1. 2 power x minus 2 will be that is already written t minus 1 is equal to mod t plus 5. Difference of square a plus b a minus b. I will write formula a square minus b square. So t square minus 1 is equal to mod t plus 5. Write all the terms to one side. So let me write in the left t square minus mod t minus 6 is equal to 0. Now this equation is very very important equation. Now one thing about mod function we have to know that is mod t can be written in a piecewise function that will be t when t positive and it will be negative t when t negative. That means its graph when t positive it will be y equal to x line and when t negative it is minus x that is why its graph is v at origin shape v at origin okay i am resolving this mod t see in two sections two parts why because of it is piecewise function is defined in piecewise so t positive and t negative so let me write t positive and t negative when it is t positive, then quadratic will be t square t positive, then mod t will be t. So minus t minus 6 is equal to 0. And when t negative, t negative, then function would be minus t. So t square plus t minus 6 is equal to 0. Now we have to solve both the quadratic equation. We will get the answer. Let's find out. For positive case, t square minus t minus 6 is equal to 0. t square minus t minus 6 is equal to 0. So a is 1, b is negative 1, c is negative 6. So t will be equal to, I am writing directly, minus b plus minus under the root 1 plus 24 over 2. 1 plus 24, 25 is square root of 25, 5. So 1 plus minus 5 over 2. So that will give us, if I am taking plus sign, then 1 plus 5, 6 over 2, so 3. 1, if I am taking minus sign, 1 minus 5 over 2, so minus 2. Because of you are solving under the head of t positive, this value will be rejected. Okay, so from first case, we got solution t equal to 3. Okay, now let us consider the second solution, t negative. Equation was t square plus t minus 6 is equal to 0. A1 
b1 c negative 6 t will be equal to minus b plus minus square root 1 minus 4 ac then it will be plus 24 over 2a so 2 okay so that value will come out negative 1 plus minus 5 over 2 so if you will take plus sign in between then minus 1 plus 5 so 4 over 2 so 2 comma take minus sign so minus 3 because of t negative you will reject this time positive value because you are solving for t negative only so negative value will be accepted positive will be rejected earlier case was t positive so positive is accepted negative is rejected now see what is t t was 2 raised to the power x minus 1 let me write there 2 raised to the power x minus 1 is equal to 3 this one then 2 raised to the power x will be equal to 4 that means x will be equal to 2 is our solution okay second one is 2 raised to the power x minus 1 is equal to minus 3 2 raised to the power x is equal to negative 2 which is not possible it is always positive so we will reject that solution so only solution is x is equal to 2 this is the correct and perfect answer thank you so much for watching please do subscribe my channel